Is, uh, is this trip coming at a good time? Great time. Yeah. Time to bond. That's what, uh, I mean, it's really cool. It's you know, getting to be the first NBA team to play over in, in India and, and try to help create the fan base over there. Uh, you know, NBA has been doing work there for, for years now as far as trying to grow the game, but uh, to be the first real game over there is kind of awesome. Um, so we'll miss out on some practice time, but we'll get more time to, to spend together. It means obviously a lot to the league, like you said, but coming here now you kind of know how much it also means to the owner of the background of eBay. Just how excited do you see him about kind of going over there? Yeah, he's, he's you know, for obvious obvious reasons, he's uh, he's very excited about this trip. Um, and when the owner's in a good mood, it's a good it's a good time to be at work. On a trip that long, you know, you can probably have film time or whatnot. How yeah. are you going to divide up the time between letting guys rest? and On the flight? Yeah, on the flight, yeah. We'll have film playing in the background, but there'll be no... Uh, if you try to if you try to turn that flight into a, a film a, a long film session, the players are going to revolt. So, uh, it, to me, on the way out, you know, when uh, uh, tonight's flight, it's more about hey, let's let's have a good time together, let's talk about things, let's get to know each other on a deeper level type of flight. And then once we get a couple games in in India and have some real film to look at, coming back, we can have some of it playing. We'll have iP uh, iPads for everyone. Um, as far as being able to see their minutes and things like that. That'll be easy to do with no Wi-Fi on the plane. Yeah, no, but we break it down beforehand. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm excited about the no Wi-Fi. Yeah. Makes, makes people, make people talk to each other. Let's, let's, uh, let's work on our, uh, our communication. Luke, is it possible to go with a 12-man rotation in the regular season in the NBA? And, and what are the pros and cons? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's... Not on a night-to-night -night basis. Um, I, you know, I think our one of our biggest strengths is how deep our team is, and uh, you know, it's going to be a, a wild, a wild west, and there's a lot of good teams in it. And I think that our depth will help us. We'll be able to, uh, you know, to, to play guys. We'll be able to play the, the pace we want to play. Um, you know, as the seasons go and people get banged up like they always do, we'll have people at every position that are ready to step up and, and fill in. What have you seen out of Deadman so far, and how do you see him sort of complementing some of the other players on the on the roster box? He's been good. I mean, we we really value shooting around here, and he's a he's a five man that can shoot the ball. Uh, he's been in the league for a few years now, so he knows uh, you know he knows he knows coverages. He knows how to how to talk um, as far as being a center, calling out the coverages. So he's he's been good in the first few days. Is there much you can pull from those first two preseason games? Obviously, in, in India, it's a little different, but because it is so unique, is there much you can take away from those two games? Well, it's going to be a great opportunity for uh, for myself as the coach and the coaching staff to kind of see different lineups. Um, we're not going to put too much weight on everything, being that we're flying across the world and it's back-to-back -back games and. Uh, and you know it's been three days of practice, but it's going to be a good opportunity for us to test some different lineups out, uh, test some different uh, some different things out that we want to see against other players. You gave us that to-do list, if you will, over the last two and a half yeah. days. How do you feel about the way guys responded to that? And they've been what's, great. What's that list look like for the next seven days? Yeah, they've been great. Um, you know, we've got we got in what we needed to get in to play games. Um, and now, you know, when we get over there, we probably, the, the, the intensity of practice when we do get to the gym won't be very high, but we'll, we'll be able to review what we've already put in and, and add a couple new concepts in, and that will kind of be the, <clears throat> the most we'll do while we're over there. Who would you say do you kind of figure out, you know, how much you know you want to put in at this stage versus when you get back versus the regular season? Do you kind of have in your mind, okay, I want to make sure I get through these parts before we get to... Yeah, it, it's a feel thing, um, really, as far as we're, when we're ready to move on to like the next the next level of, of plays, or um, you know, two or three more side out of bounds. For right now, uh, and on this trip, it, we're not going to try to rush anything. It's going to be a lot more just review of what we put in in these first uh, five practices we had. Which players are really standing out to you over these first three days? It's been, uh, there's been moments from everyone. Uh, there really has, and uh, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of good players. There's, like I said, we value shooting. There's a lot of good shooters out there. So, 
Uh, it's, it's fun. The, the game of basketball is fun when people are competing and making shots. And we've had we've had some nice moments from from pretty much everyone on the roster. Following up what you said about the rotations, is it on your end? Is it too early to have those kind of communications or those conversations with players, or do you have to kind yeah. of see things unfold? First? Too early. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll get there. We've. You know, we've been keeping groups together for the most part in, in these first three days, but that's just because we want to give, you know, some time to start building some uh, some chemistry. But that, uh, you know, that, that'll all change in India. We're going to start mixing groups and seeing what different lineups look like. Is a 10-man rotation what you're comfortable with? Yeah, I mean, we uh, 10 works, uh, 8 works, 9 works. So, okay. but it's it, it's, you know, Whoever's playing well will play. Okay. Thank you.